Tiger Woods' talent on the golf course has been undeniable since he first broke onto the scene in the late 90s, and along with his success also came investments in some lavish real estate. Over the course of his career, he's owned multi-million dollar properties in California, Florida, the Bahamas, and more. At one point, it was even rumored that Woods owned a custom-built home on a 62-acre private island in Sweden, but that has been proven false. His current home these days is a stunning estate located in Jupiter Island, Florida, where the whopping $54 million. The original mansion was torn down at the time of purchase and replaced with an estate spanning nearly 10,000 square feet with additional structures, a golf studio, a boathouse for his massive yacht, and even features like an oxygen therapy room. Back in 2006, the same year he ruled the PGA Championship and the Open Championship, Tiger Woods and his ex-wife Ellen Nordegren acquired a 12-acre property in Florida, which came with a 9,000 square foot mansion. This former couple decided to tear this down and start completely fresh, completing this stunning custom home in 2010. Unfortunately, just after Tiger and Ellen would divorce due to his cheating scandal. The entire estate would cost Woods a total of $54 million, and after the rebuild, it was divided into two distinct parts. Part one boasting 3,300 square feet of living space inside, while part two is said to be a 6,400 square foot multi-purpose building. After Woods would be in an awful car crash that gave him brutal injuries, he would use his new mega mansion to recover and recuperate. He had shared after the incident that at first he was finding difficult to navigate around his massive mansion. He jokingly said, I built a really nice house, but I didn't realize how big it was until you start putting crutches on. I'm on the better side of it, but still have a long way to go. Well, I think a house that massive might be hard for anyone to get around in. His mansion is situated on Jupiter Island, which is home to just under 900 people and one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Florida. Just down the street from his property is Tiger's restaurant called The Woods, which is described as a legendary sports bar experience. The two sprawling structures that make up Tiger's approximately 9,700 square foot mansion are connected by a glass covered walkway. While elsewhere on the multi-building property, you'll find a spacious guest house, a garage, and a boathouse. In the smaller building, which is still almost 4,000 square feet, there are stylish living areas as well as common rooms, such as the chef's kitchen, and elsewhere a basement recreation room. This building also holds three bedrooms room suites in addition to Wood's own master bedroom. The dad of two Woods can also relax in his very own oxygen therapy room or choose to unwind in the home movie theater. Also in the multi-purpose building there's a home gym that would put also in the multi-purpose building there's a home gym that would put most fully equipped fitness centers to shame as well as a wine cellar, media room, elevator and more. As you might expect Tiger has a purpose-built golf practice facility on his property too. He has a four-hole golf course complete with six bunkers that he can either play normally or take aim at from his second-story swing studio. Outside on the multi-acre property, Tiger has a tennis court slash basketball court combo, a massive 100-foot swimming pool, a spa, and his boathouse, which is located near the two private docks where he keeps his 47-meter yacht. Of course, Tiger has lived in some other properties over the span of his life and career. His first big purchase was also the start of his real estate portfolio in Florida when he paid an undisclosed amount for an 8,000 square foot Spanish style home in the exclusive Isleworth community in Windermere, Florida. Tiger scored this property just as his star was on the rise. And a big draw for him was the privacy of the Isleworth neighborhood, which was fully gated. The community also had a no autograph policy, so we didn't have to worry about that or taking photos with anyone either. Woods lived at this house alone and then with his ex Ellen after they got married in 2004 and until their divorce in 2010. The home is also now known as the site of Woods' infamous 2009 car crash, shortly after reports of his infidelity surfaced. Woods later sold the two story waterfront home to fellow golf pro Abubba Watson for $2.2 million in 2013. This house was a two-story home boasting seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms throughout. Walking in, there's a large open foyer which leads to one of the open plan living areas. This one boasting a contemporary beach style and a seating area with brown leather furnishings. There are soaring ceilings throughout much of these common rooms. And across from this space, 
There's a dining room with seats for eight. The main living area is more casual and boasts an open floor plan that combines the kitchen and the family room with fireplace and wall of windows with wooden floors and ceilings throughout. Next to the family room was the gourmet kitchen, which was well lit with modern appliances and traditional cream cabinets to contrast against all the wood. While across the room, there was a breakfast nook. Other highlights in Tiger's former home included a games room with wet bar and a home theater. Out on the grounds, there was a simple mid-sized pool and spa along with views of the lake and even a private lakeside dock with wooden ceiling and walkway. Elsewhere, there was a guest house too. Of course, Tiger Woods owned a handful of other properties over the course of his career too. In 2004, he stayed close to his California roots with the purchase of a $3 million Mediterranean style condo in Newport Beach. The two-story home measured around 2,000 square feet and featured three bedrooms with views of the ocean and Catalina Island from almost every room. He listed this place at a loss in 2012 for $2.49 million, but it's unclear when or whether the property actually sold. Also in 2004 is when Woods bought his impressive $20 million, 155 foot yacht. His yacht that he named Privacy boasts three levels, including an observation deck with five bedrooms that can easily sleep up to 10 guests and separate living quarters for the crew. Among the yacht's many amenities are a jacuzzi, a gym, wet bar, and a decompression chamber for scuba diving. Wood still owns the yacht and has been known to sleep aboard it before major championships. Woods also looks out for his family, especially his parents, purchasing his mother two adjacent lots in Jupiter, Florida with plans to build on the land, while he also went in on another home in Windermere, Florida with his father. In 2010, Woods decided to spread his real estate investments over to the Bahamas when he helped to fund the construction of an ultra-exclusive resort here, alongside other celebrity investors such as Justin Timberlake and more. The luxury resort community is known as Albany and is on 600 acres on the island New Providence with nine marina front condo buildings, each boasting a different architectural style. Amenities include a golf course, several swimming pools, an equestrian center, a water sports center, tennis courts, and a 15,000 square foot fitness center with yoga and Pilates studios. After looking at where Tiger Woods calls home, that will bring today's house tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you had a multi-purpose building on your property, what amenities would it need to have? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned for a look inside the homes of John on ROM. Bye. <laughs> In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This past weekend, professional golfer John Ram made all the headlines after he emerged victorious in the 2023 Masters Tournament, arguably the biggest golfing event of the year. This Spanish born and raised athlete was crowned the victor after winning by four strokes and 12 under par for the entire tournament. As a result, John is going to take home right around three. $3.24 million for snagging himself the title, not to mention that spiffy green jacket. And that's an amount that is more money than any previous Masters tournament winner has ever won. And guess who he gets to share all that money with? His beautiful wife and college sweetheart, Kelly Cahill. Although he was born in Barrica, Spain, John has split his success between two continents, at home in Europe and on the road in North America with six European tour wins and five more coming from the PGA. Over that span of time, John has established himself as one of the top golfers in the entire world and once held the number one spot in the world amateur golf bankings for a record breaking 60 weeks in a row. Since then, he's gone on to win tournament after tournament and even earned himself the nickname of Rombo, you know, like the action hero, but with an H. Yeah, it reads better on paper. Something tells me the one person who isn't calling him by that name is probably the woman he shares his life and home with. John John first met Kelly back in 2015 when they were both attending a Halloween party at Arizona State University. At the time, John wasn't the only athlete of the two. Kelly was a dedicated track and field team member of Arizona State. In fact, the two lovebirds were almost torn apart early on in their relationship when they squared off against one another in a fiercely competitive tennis match. When asked to recollect how she felt in that moment, Kelly told English media source The Sun, he's killing forehand.
hands, cross court zingers, and I'm thinking this can't be right. He was so good. I was so upset. I was actually mad for a day or two. We have not stepped foot on a tennis court since. They might not have competed against one another since, but they did eventually walk down the aisle hand in hand after John popped the question in 2018 right before he competed in the US Open. According to reports, he even designed the ring himself. When they finally said I do a year later at the end of 2019, John and Kelly did so at a gorgeous Catholic ceremony, which took place in John's home country of Spain. Following that ceremony and what was no doubt an epic honeymoon, the happy couple returned to the United States where they had already put down roots in the state where they first met. Shortly after getting together at Arizona State University, John and his wife, Kelly, bought a home together in the city of Scottsdale, Arizona for just over $1 million. A desert city located east of Phoenix, Scottsdale is recognized all around the world for its spa resorts and numerous five-star golf courses. Take for instance the world-class course that sits directly inside of Silverleaf Community, the very spot that John and his wife call home. Known for its luxurious homes, not to mention its lush views, Silverleaf is one of the nicest communities you'll lay your eyes on. That being said, when you first approach John's house, one of the first things you might notice is its modest size. But don't let its outward look fool you. This Mediterranean style home with more than 3,000 square feet of space inside features a wide driveway and multiple garages as well as an exterior made out of stone and stucco. After going up a beautiful central pathway to reach the front door, upon stepping into John's home, you'll be greeted by a front foyer that boasts high ceilings and is decorated in a modern style that features features a whole bunch of natural light that bleeds in from the nearby living room. Centered around a small coffee table, John's main living space is a monochrome beauty with cream-colored furniture that boasts pops of aqua blue highlights. You can find these in the pillows and the drapes, for instance. Simply put, this is the perfect space to plop down and relax after a long day of stroking it on the back nine. Not far from there is a pool table situated in the family's game room where John can practice hitting tiny balls into holes without having to step foot outside into that scorching hot Arizona sun. Better yet, if he doesn't feel like shooting pool, he can sip some wine and putt, putt, putt away. Circling back to the kitchen, outside of its built-in high-end appliance, Appliances, this space also includes marble countertops, stainless steel faucets, white towel backsplash, a kitchen island with bar style seats, and some gorgeous cabinets painted a stunning charcoal gray. A few feet from there is the home's dining room table, which sits directly beneath a chrome chandelier and is big enough to seat six quite comfortably. Within shouting distance from there is the home's specialized wine cellar that boasts woodwork and enough room for hundreds of bottles of John's favorite vintage. Then, in the heart of the property, the master suite is impressively large with direct access to the property property's backyard and an epic walk-in closet as well as a luxury bathroom that includes a deep soaking tub and a separate glass shower resting on a honeycomb pattern floor. On the opposite wing of the home you'll find two further guest bedrooms, each of which comes with their very own bathroom. Then elsewhere on the main floor is a neat home office with a leather chair and wooden desk that sits across from an entertainment unit. But what's gotta be the home's highlight is the incredible backyard, which boasts a pool and hot tub set directly in the middle of a series of putting greens, fake sand traps, and astroturf. And if that wasn't enough, out here you'll also discover breathtaking views of the nearby mountains and wildlife, as well as an outdoor kitchen that includes a grill, sink, and countertop for working. After living in this home for a little over four years, John and Kelly listed their family residence in June 2021 for $1.6 million. Two months later, they found a buyer who was willing to shell out a little bit more than that, to the tune of $1.65 million. Since leaving their longtime home behind, John and Kelly have done a great job at keeping their new location under lock and key. No one seems to know quite where they've moved to, though there were whispers that the family has 
moved to Spain. Going by some of the photos that John posted on his Instagram, I would definitely say that wherever this new home is, it's certainly no downgrade. Over on social media, you can find footage of John recently taking a break from his hectic schedule to spend time with his sons, Kipa and Aniko. For instance, he's already teaching Kipa how to swing a club in their new backyard, a space that boasts a well-gated pool to keep the kids safe and not to mention some stunning views of a near by mountain range. Based upon those pictures, it looks like John has kept his love for Mediterranean style alive and well. Regardless, it's his kids and the family that John is focusing most of his attention on these days. He recently told Golf Digest, I'm much more interested in raising a family and being a good husband and father than I am golf. Don't get me wrong, I want to be the best golfer I can be. If I had a gun to my head and had to choose between having one or the other, I wouldn't pick golf. I I choose family every time. Sounds like a man with his priorities straight to me, but for now, that's all we can say for sure about John's new living arrangement, which means that that is going to bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's video and before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. What is the most elaborate setup you ever dreamt of installing in your backyard? Let me know if you've ever contemplated transforming your entire outside space into a putting green like John did in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. Feel free to follow me on Instagram.